Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about cheeseburgers. But not just cheeseburgers, I'm talking about stuffed cheeseburgers. Now you can stuff your cheeseburgers with anything you have on hand. Today I've got bell peppers, onions, uh, some avocado and some spices. So let's get busy. I've already got my patty laid out in a pan. And I've already been sauteing my uh, bell peppers and onions. So I'm going to take those and put those on the patty. The whole key here is to try to keep this whole thing together once, <laughs> once you're trying to cook it. Normally I would, I would be doing this outside on the grill, but today makes day number 22 out of 24. We've had 100 plus degree temperatures on our porch. So we decided to do this inside. All right, I got peppers and onions on there. I'm going to do some salt and pepper. Like I say, you can use anything you've got. I usually use what I call the three P's, which is garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder. We are out of chili powder, it seems, right now, so I'm going to do the only the onion and the garlic. And on top of that, I'm going to put a few avocado slices. Full disclosure, I tried this once already and slopped this whole thing up, so this is try number two. Hopefully this will go a little smoother. Avocado, I love avocado on everything. And on top of that, we're going to put a slice of cheese. Now, I've got another patty that I have put on another plate. And hopefully, this is the second time, this thing's going to go on there right without slopping the whole thing up. Now the key to this thing is to pitch it around the sides to try to close it so your stuff doesn't fall out when you flip it. This is going to be a huge burger, folks. A huge burger. Somebody's yelling at me, trying to get me to do something. Stove on. Stove on. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pinch this thing first. All right, here we go. I'm going to put this thing on high and hopefully, hopefully it's going to stay together. And if it does, you're going to have a cheeseburger like you've never seen before. Because once we get this thing turned over, we're going to put more cheese on it. Got the plant, uh, pan on high right now. I never really thought once you put this in a pan what I'm going to be talking about while this thing cooks. But like I said, you can, you can put anything in your stuffed cheeseburger you'd like. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> And you can tell, it's now 3 o'clock. By the way, my uh, our grandfather clock is going off. The key is flipping this thing without, without losing everything on the inside. That's going to be the key. I've got it on a high right now. Hopefully it'll start cooking any time. I'm going to put a little bit more seasonings on the top of this also. Like I say, once I flip it, we're going to do more cheese. We're going to have a double cheeseburger. This thing's going to be, this thing's going to be huge. I'm on high, folks, as far as I can go. Anybody got any suggestions of what I can talk about while I'm here? We're loving South Carolina. We're loving life in South Carolina, that is true. I've got my gorgeous bride, Jill, over there, but she doesn't want to get on camera. We've also got our good friends Billy and Joyce that are visiting us from Ohio. They're going to be my taste testers today, but nobody's going to be on camera. You're just going to have to take their word for it when they go, oh, this is really good. Okay, anything else? Like I said, this is day 22 out of the last 24 that we've had 100 degree temperatures on our porch. And it's just, it's just blazing out there. This is something you can easily do on a grill, though. 
Okay, any more suggestions, folks? <laughs> By the way, yeah, the good frontline biker church. I'm, I'm displaying that. Uh, is where we love to go to church. That's where all four of us are when we visit down here. We go there on a steady basis. Great, great church, great people. Loving us, bunch of people you've ever met in your life. So if you're ever anywhere near the Kershaw, South Carolina area, we invite you to drop into the Frontline Biker Church. I've never seen hamburger take so long to start, actually. <laughs> it's finally starting to do a little bit. If I hadn't had to pinch that thing, I'd have had a pan on before. I might do that anyway. This amount of hamburger I've got right now will probably feed two people. Or more. I don't know. It's, it's a bunch. You'll get to see. You'll get to see once this thing goes cooking. Hopefully it's gonna it's gonna shrink a little bit and be able to fit it on a bun. More suggestions, folks. Anything to talk about. That's true. We're going to have homemade potato soup with it. We're going to have uh, possibly some fried green tomatoes. Oh, we're, I'm telling you, you can do anything with these. And you can use anything, again, to stuff them with. Whatever, whatever you like or whatever you happen to have around the house. All right, we're starting to bubble a little bit here. Like I said, the key is to keep this sucker together when you go to flip it. Once I turn this, I'll start. I'll put more seasonings on the other side, and when I'm getting ready to take it off, I'll put a slice of cheese on it. We get a bun right now. You guys want anything on your bun? Mayo, ketchup, mustard. Anybody? Mayo. What's that? Mayo. Mayo. Mayo it is. Actually, as I go through this, it's turned out to be a pretty boring video. Now that I think about it, we got the large, large hamburger buns to put this thing on. I don't know if it's going to fit on that though. When you think of this thing on high, this thing would really crank it, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, Maxwell. Billy and Joyce's dog Maxwell decided to join me in the kitchen. It's smelling pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Alright folks, here goes the first flip. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if you call that successful or not. It didn't slop all over the pan anyway. Okay, still need suggestions, folks. Because they sit quietly over there and watch me burn. That's true, my wife Jill eats hers on like a bed of lettuce or something like that. She doesn't use buns. Which is a very healthy alternative. I, however, like a thick bun. Thick condiments, thick everything. And now, well, one of our dogs, Shawnee, has decided to join us here, too. Smells pretty good, huh? Uh, I don't know if I can flip this again or... I don't think it's going to hold together. Yeah, we'll see. I'm going to have to put the cheese right on this, I think. It's going to fall apart if I go to flip that again. Okay, sure. Joyce is going to come help. 
things fall apart on top. See what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> ain't much you can do with that. You can do that. Oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. It is. Should, I, should I try it? Go for it. <laughs> Pray for this one, folks. I can see just going everywhere. Oh, easy. 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 <laughs> well, it's been about two and a half years since I've made any videos, and you can tell that by the <laughs> by the way this is going. However, I plan to plan to get back into a little bit of semi semi regular videos. The this one. What's that? <laughs> They're doing an inside joke here, but. No, I need a, I need a lid to cover that. Get the cheese to melt in here. Oh, the videos will get better, folks. Trust me. And if you happen to want to see anybody out. Other videos, I've got, I think, 40, 42 videos. You can go to www.youtube.com slash Facebook cook. And hopefully they're better than this one. Like I say, I'm going to get back into them. This is the first one I've done since we've moved to South Carolina. In the past two and a half years, I've moved from California to Mansfield, Ohio. Gotten married, moved from Mansfield, Ohio to Kershaw, South Carolina. Lord. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> this thing is sticking this whole thing. <laughs> I thought it came out alright. Alright, now another trick is getting this thing on the bottom. <laughs> I know. Alright, folks. Here goes nothing. This would need to be done a little bit more, but. For time purposes, we're going with this. Going with what we got. Alright. People would like this cooked more than it is right now. Not you. Not me. I prefer medium rare, but everybody tells me you're not supposed to do that. That's right. So actually, this, this burger is perfect for me. All right, see what you think, folks. I'm thinking that looks pretty darn good. That's my version of a stuffed cheeseburger, and that's what I'm talking about. So next time, until next time, we'll see you. Hopefully it'll be soon.